Hello everyone and welcome to my online chess lecture channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the game between Vidamir Karmic vs. Darmin Sudovko. This game was played at 2001 at Astana. Okay, Kamrik had white pieces and started it with d4. Black responded with d5, c4, Queen's Gambit, d takes on c4. Knight f3, knight f6, e3, <coughs> e6, bishop takes on c4, c5, and in this position, white castles king side, a6, a4, preventing black from playing pawn to b5, knight to c6, queen to e2, now black wants to bring his Sorry, white wants to bring his rook to d1 square, going to c7, rook d1, bishop to d6, d takes on c5, bishop takes on c5, b3, and in this position, black castles, king side 2, bishop to b7, e5, knight c3, e4, Knight g5, bishop to d6, knight d5, knight takes on d5, rook takes on d5, and in this position, black pet, bishop takes on h2, check. King to h1, king to f1 should have been considered, bishop to e5, queen h5, the direct mating threat. Bishop to f5, neutralizing the checkmate trade. Knight takes on f7. Rook takes on f7. Queen takes. Sorry, queen takes on f5. Now, the rook is untouchable. If rook takes on f5, then rook to d8 would be beautiful smarter checkmate. g6 was played desperate at him. Bishop takes an e5 and in this position black resign with a view of disqualification. For the entertainment purpose, I'm going to show you one line. If g takes an f5, then bishop takes an c7, rook takes an c7, then rook d7 check, discover check, bishop, sorry, king to h8. Rook takes on c7, and I guess we can stop here. From this position, white would be easily be winning. Thank you, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck.